Hello everyone, welcome again to Engman YouTube channel. So if you are new to this channel, this channel is actually a platform where we will learn many, many things about petroleum engineering, chemical engineering, geothermal energy, and many other things. Okay, so here we are in a Q&A section. Uh, specifically, we will discuss about productivity index and Fogel IPR or inflow performance relationship. Okay, let's go to discuss the question. What we have here is the question. The question is, a well is in a reservoir which has a bubble point pressure of 2700 PSI. Currently, the reservoir pressure is 2400 PSI. When it flows and the flow reaches stable condition, the measured flow rate is 300 stock tank barrel per day and the well head flowing pressure is 300 PSI. If it is known that flowing pressure is five times the well head flowing pressure, then we should determine A, flow rate when the well head flowing pressure is 250 PSI. And then we need to determine the flow rate if we assume a constant productivity index. And C, we should create an IPR curve using the Fogel method and the constant productivity index method. So this is the question we have. What is important here first, reservoir pressure is below the bubble point pressure, right? Because the bubble point pressure is 2,700, whereas the reservoir pressure currently is only 2,400 PSI. So we are under the bubble point pressure and it means that we are under multi-phase condition. Okay, and then we have relationship between the bottom hole flowing pressure and the well head flowing pressure. So it's quite easy. And then we just need to go to answer the question. Okay, so here I already prepared some relationship. Uh, we have assumption for single phase and for multi-phase condition. Okay, for single phase condition within the reservoir, it means that we will use constant productivity index assumption. Whereas for multi-phase condition, we can use uh, several empirical methods, but now we prefer to use Fogel equation, which is the most popular one, okay? So we have single phase condition where we will use constant productivity index. And we also have multi-phase condition where we will apply Fogel equation. And we already prepare the equation, the formula to calculate. Then we need to uh, register the data. We have reservoir pressure, 2400 PSI. We have bubble point pressure, 2700 PSI. And then we already know that our reservoir pressure is below the bubble point pressure. So it means we are already in multi-phase condition. We have gas within the reservoir. We already have flow rate, 300 stock time barrel per day and well head flowing pressure, 300 PSI, and that the bottom hole flowing pressure five times the well head flowing pressure. So it's 1500 PSI. And then for point A, we have another well head flowing pressure value, which is 250 PSI. It's quite easy. We can uh, directly answer for the point A, okay? So, because we already under multi-phase condition, we should apply the multi-phase or Fogel equation, okay? In Fogel equation, we should apply this correlation to get the maximum flow rate or absolute open flow, okay? I already calculate the value, but let's try it again. So for the Q max, it is Q, divided by one minus 0.2 times bottom of flowing pressure divided by reservoir pressure minus 0.8 times bottom of flowing pressure again divided by reservoir pressure squared. Okay, so it's 533 stock tank barrel per day the maximum flow rate, okay? It's not finished yet, okay? We need to find the bottom hole frame pressure. 
and we know that the bottom hull flowing pressure is the wellhead flowing pressure, 250 psi times five. Okay, and then we already have maximum flow rate. We already have bottom hole flowing pressure. Then we can already calculate the flow rate. So the flow rate, we will use this formula. It is a maximum flow rate times one minus 0.2 times bottom hole flowing pressure. This one divided by reservoir pressure, 2,400 and then minus 0.8 times, again, bottom hole flowing pressure divided by the reservoir pressure, then squared. Okay, so that's 4.8. It's quite easy. And then for the next one, we should calculate the flow rate if we assume a constant productivity index, okay? So in this question, we assume that we have a constant productivity index as opposed to what we applied in Vogel equation. So in Vogel equation or in multi-phase condition, we assume a constantly changing productivity index. Whereas in point B, we need to assume a constant productivity index, okay? Actually, it's easier if we assume a constant productivity index. First, we need to calculate the productivity index and the productivity index, we will use this equation. So it is flow rate divided by the pressure drawdown. Okay, the pressure drawdown is the reservoir pressure minus the bottom hole flowing pressure. This one. Okay. Okay. So it's actually 0.3 stock tank barrel per day per psi. Okay. After we obtain the constant productivity index, we can then calculate the flow rate. And the flow rate is quite easy. The flow rate is productivity index times the pressure drawdown, okay? The flow rate is the productivity index 0.3 times the reservoir pressure 2,400 minus the bottom hole flowing pressure. And the bottom hole flowing pressure value that we will use is this one, 1250 PSI, okay? And then enter, okay, then we get the flow rate, okay? You can see that the flow rate if we use the constant productivity index is 383. Whereas if we use Vogel equation or constantly changing productivity index, we will only obtain 362, okay? So you can see that the point B, we obtain higher flow rate compared to what we have in point A, okay? So constant productivity index assumption will give us better performance as opposed to the multi-phase condition assumption, okay? So we already answered the A point and the B point, and then we go to the C, okay? Here, we are asked to create an IPR curve using the Vogel method and the constant productivity index method. So we should do both methods, okay? So I already prepared the table here, okay? I already, also prepared the ratios. So what we can do here is first multiply the ratio and then we lock this value times the reservoir pressure, okay? And then because we will use it again and again, we lock this value by pressing F4 on our keyboard, okay? Done. So the first value is 2400, which is the reservoir pressure. And then we just drag it to the bottom, oh, I'm sorry, it should not be locked, okay? So we just press it, enter, and then press twice, okay? So we already have the pressure values for the constant productivity index assumption. And then we can also use these values to the IPR Fogel. Okay, the same thing. What different here? is that flow rate should be different, okay? And the flow rate, if we use the constant productivity index, we should use this equation, okay? So the flow rate is the constant productivity index, which is 0.3, and then log it, times the reservoir pressure, again, we should log it, minus the bottom hole flowing pressure, which is this one. Okay, 
then we close drag it done so we already construct the ipr for constant productivity index okay then we go to create the ipr for fogel method for fogel method we should use this equation okay just do it q max we already calculate the q max we should lock it times one minus 0.2 bottom all flowing pressure now we should use this cell or this value without locking it okay divided by the reservoir pressure we should lock it because we will use it again and again and then minus 0.8 okay again the bottom half flowing pressure this value from this column okay divided by the reservoir pressure lock it and then square close enter okay then we should drag it done so we already create the fogel ipr as you can see here that the q max that we get from constant productivity index ipr is greater than what we have from fogel ipr okay it's clear right the blue one the dark blue one is the constant productivity index ipr whereas the green one is the Fogel IPR. This one is a single phase assumption, whereas this one is a multi-phase condition. Okay, to make sure, we can also check the maximum flow rate from IPR Fogel 533, which is exactly the same with what we have here. Okay, maximum flow rate from 0.8, okay? We haven't actually calculated the maximum flow rate using the constant productivity index assumption, but we can also calculate here, okay? We can borrow these two equations, okay? For the maximum flow rate, for the single phase assumption, it's quite actually easy, okay? We use this one, the productivity index times the reservoir pressure, 2400 minus zero exactly because the zero bottom hole flowing pressure will give us the theoretical maximum flow rate okay and then press enter 800 exactly the same with what we have here here okay 800 stocks and barrel per day okay that's all we have we already calculate the flow rate if we have the wellhead flowing pressure, and then we already calculate the flow rate if we assume a constant productivity index. And lastly, we already try to construct IPR from constant productivity index assumption, as well as the IPR Fogel assumption. Okay, that's all. I hope this video can be useful, helpful, and informative for us all. And see you again for the next videos. Thank you.